The US Air Force conducted a test launch of an unarmed Minuteman III intercontinental ballistic missile last night from California launch site. Russian President Vladimir Putin has said that Russia will abide by the comprehensive nuclear test ban treaty, but warned that Moscow would take appropriate retaliatory measures if the US or any other nation resumes nuclear testing. The Indian Army is conducting a Khand Prahar exercise, under the Tri-Services Framework of Exercise Tree Shul, showcasing integrated land-air-sea coordination and joint operational readiness across multiple domains. The Indian Navy has commissioned INS Iksak third large survey vessel today. French firm Safran will increase its Indian supplier base from 25 to over 40 by 2026, as part of its strategy to deepen integration with India's make in India aerospace ecosystem. The Ministry of Defence has cancelled Mazagin Dock Ship Builders' proposal for three more French origin Scorpion submarines, citing excessive unit costs of 12,000 crore rupees per unit, and ageing design limitations. The integration of the 200 km range Mach 4 plus speed Astra Mark II beyond visual range air to air missile on the Tejas Mark 1A will start in 2025. The missile's firing trials are planned for late 2025, with user evaluation trials slated for mid-2026, and production and induction targeted by the end of 2027. The Indian Air Force is rapidly upgrading its 261 Su-30 fighter jets with indigenous software-defined radios and the 118 radar warning receivers that uses AI-driven threat detection. Over 50 aircraft have been fitted with the new radar warning receivers, with HAL Nashik targeting 20 Su-30 conversions per month. The Indian Army has fully backed the indigenous 155mm ramjet powered precision guided artillery round, that is capable of Mach 3.5 speed, 65,000 feet altitude and 150 km range. The project will unite IIT Madras DRDO with private partners like Munitions India Limited and Bharat Forge, and the program's Phase 1 includes 25 prototype rounds for trials, while Phase 2 targets mass production, that will be five times cheaper than foreign 155mm ramjet artillery rounds. A Russian technical delegation from the Shukhoi Design Bureau has submitted a detailed report confirming that Hindustan Aeronautics already possesses nearly 50% of the infrastructure needed to begin local Su-57 production. The assessment by Russian team found strong capacity in assembly, engine overhaul, and avionics manufacturing. Hindustan Aeronautics is now preparing its internal report on investments tooling and training required for full-scale production, that will be submitted to the Ministry of Defense by end of this month. In a big development, the DRDO is developing an upgraded electronic heavyweight torpedo codenamed Tuxuk, that will reach depths of 800 meters to hunt enemy submarines. The current electronic heavyweight torpedo is effective till 600 meters, which faces limitations against China's Type 93 class submarines, which can dive around 700 meters. It will feature reinforced casings, adaptive buoyancy control, lithium-ion batteries to withstand 80 atmospheric pressure, and AI-driven depth profiling for dynamic tracking. Trials are planned by mid-2026, with sea trials by 2027, aligning with Project 75i submarines. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, Mark, dropped it.